There are quite a lot of remedies that would have been used to help to relieve colds and flu throughout history. One remedy that is very well known about is the rosehip. So rosehip is known as sometimes by dog rose, sometimes by its Latin name of Rosa canina, or sometimes Rosa rugosa. Rose hips are the fruit of the rose tree. And it's those lovely, beautiful, shiny, red, almost vase shaped berries that come out on our wild bushes in the autumns that are a real gem for our winter health. Firstly, you need to make sure that what you've picked is actually a rose hip. And if you're absolutely sure that it is, you can carefully pick them with bare hands or with gloves, pop them in a basket or a paper bag, and then take them home. And then you need to prepare them very, very carefully. So for rose hips, the important thing is that you need to avoid ingesting any of the really irritant hairs that sit inside of the rose hip. So the way to do this, wash your rose hips and then top and tail them. If you can, slice them in half, but they're a little bit tough. And then put them in a pan and heat them very gently with one or two cups of water and simmer them for about 15 to 30 minutes. Once you've simmered them, the important thing to do then is to strain them through cheesecloth or through double thickness muslin cloth. And this is to help you to strain out not only the seeds that the berry contains, but also the very, very tiny irritant hairs that they contain. Once you've got this beautiful orange coloured liquid that's left, you can then combine that with sugar in a ratio of one part liquid of, of the rose hip to one part sugar. Mix them together on a fairly low heat until all of the sugar's dissolved. And then once all of that sugar's dissolved, pour it very carefully into some nice sterile bottles or sterile jars let it cool and then when cool, pop the lid on and label it as rose hip syrup. And that gives you your very own perfect winter tonic. It's very, very rich in vitamin C. And a teaspoon of that every day will help to keep your immune system and your respiratory system in a little bit better health through the winter months. Another two plants that can be used for colds and flu are the elder flower, but also the elder berry. So the elder flower, the flower usually comes out at the end of May, start of June, in those beautiful warm summer months that we get. And the flowers, once they've been taken off their stems, can be drunk as an infusion. And those infusions of elder flowers can help to relieve colds and flu. The elderberries that come out in the autumn months, usually towards the end of August, start of September, are extremely high in vitamin C and antioxidants. And when you pick your elderberries, those beautiful, beautifully round purple berries in the autumn, you pick the whole bract and then you push the berries off with a fork into a bowl. And with those tiny little purple berries, you can cook them in a very similar way to rose hips. So you put them into a pan and then you place over some water and simmer it very gently, probably for about half an hour to an hour. And then strain them through cheesecloth or through double thickness muslin. And then once it's cooled ever so slightly, add an equal pot of sugar so one part elderberry liquid to one part sugar, combine the two over a low heat until the sugar is dissolved, and then pour very carefully into sterile bottles or sterile jars to give you a really gorgeous, very nice tasting winter 
immunity tonic syrup. Finally, something else that can be incredibly helpful for our respiratory systems and for colds and flu is the ribwort plantain again. So Plantago lanceolata. Ribwort plantain has a really interesting action in the fact that it helps to reduce mucus and catarrh in the common cold. It can also help to reduce sinusitis too. So historically has always been used as part of remedies to help with reducing mucus in colds and also other places where you might experience that, such as when you get the flu or with hay fever as well. So three very common, very easy to use, very easy to process, wild flowers and trees that line our countryside lanes and our gardens and are there and have always been there to help with our health. 